Dear viewers, in this video, we are going to see about streak play technique. The aim of the streak play technique is to isolate the pure strains of bacteria by quadrant streaking method. Next, the principle at the streak play technique is a rapid qualitative isolation method used for the isolation of pure culture of bacteria from the mid-set population. This streaking method was first developed by Loeffler and Gafke in the Robert Coates laboratory, which involves the dilution of bacteria by systematically streaking them over the exterior of the agar in a petri dish to obtain the isolated colonies, which will then, then grow into the number of cells or isolated colonies. The inoculum is streaked over the agar surface in such a way that it thins out the bacteria. Uh, some individual bacterial cells are uh, separated and well spaced from each other by this method and aseptic techniques are used to, to maintain the microbiological cultures and to prevent contamination of the growth medium. Uh, many types of procedures are performed for streaking uh, or streak plate technique but uh, four ways or the quadrant streak is mostly done. As the original sample is diluted by streaking it uh, over uh, successive quadrants the number of organisms uh, decreases. Usually, uh, by the third or fourth quadrant, only a few organisms are transferred, which will uh, give discrete colony forming unit. Uh, when the bacteria are streaked and isolated, the causative agent of the bacterial disease can be identified. Apart from the quadrant streaking method, uh, some other uh, streaking methods also used in the microbiological laboratory. Uh, they are uh, continuous streaking, T streaking, uh, radian streaking, and spiral streaking. Next, the streak plate method uh, that has uh, two major disadvantages. They are uh, firstly, uh, users will not be able to grow obligate anaerobes using this method, and secondly, only organisms that were visible in the original sample are able to be grown. The materials required for the streak plate technique are bacterial culture, inoculation loop, Bunsen burner, nutrient agar plates and incubator. The next procedure, uh, first sterilize the inoculation loop in the Bunsen burner by putting the loop into the flame until it is red hot and then allow it to cool. After that, uh, pick an isolated colony from the agar plate culture and spread it over the first quadrant approximately one fourth of the plate using the closed parallel streaks. And after that, turn the nutrient agar plate at 90 degree angle and lightly sweep the loop one to two times through the inoculated area. Then uh, streak into the next quadrant without overlapping the previous streak. And this is step one. After step one, flame the loop and allow the loop to cool. Next, uh, turn the nutrient agar plates at 90 degree angle and lightly sweep the loop one to two times through the inoculated area, then streak into the next quadrant without overlapping the previous streak. This is uh, step two. After step two, flame the loop and allow the loop to cool and then uh, turn the nutrient agar plates at a 90 degree angle and lightly sweep the loop one to two times uh, through the inoculated area then streak into the next quadrant without overlapping the previous streak. This is step three. After step three, flame the loop and allow the loop to cool and finally invert the streaked nutrient agar plate and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours in an incubator. And next observation and results. The streaked nutrient agar plate is incubated at uh, 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After incubation, examine the bacterial colonies, that is the colony growth in the plate carefully. And all colonies should have the same general appearance. If there is uh, more than one type of colony, each type should be streaked again on a separate plate to obtain a pure culture. Uh, this is observation results. Dear viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you.